Hi everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video and I'm getting ready to go for a trip to Virginia, but I wanted to show you guys kind of how I do my indoor cooking when I cook indoors and how I set up my bed and my, my inside of my van for cooking safely with ventilation indoors. So as you can see, I did change my bins. I did buy three of these um, drawers because I really like it. Like that's my coffee stuff in the top drawer. This is going to be for my pajamas. And then down here is for my electronics, my Surface Pro and all my cords and stuff. And then my coffee pot, of course, is still in the same position. <laughs> it never leaves that spot. When I drive, it's on one of those skid proof things. It never moves. And I plug it in down here to my Thousand Jackery um, turn my Jackery on and that puppy makes my coffee. What I do is I set it up for on a timer so that it comes on in the morning. Um, or I can just, you know, push it on in the morning. I make it the night before basically. So there's Ted. Say hi, Teddy. Say hi to everybody. Oh, he said, Teddy, stay. You cannot get out of the van. I do have the door open. Sit. 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 Teddy, no, 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 you have to go in unless you don't sit, sit. Okay, so that's Ted. He wanted to say hello. <laughs> He's being naughty right now, trying to do a video. Shh. So usually, you know, he just lays on the bed. But right now I'm using the bed for kitchen mode, indoor cooking. Usually I cook off the back of the van, but this is how I set it up. So... I take the cushions, I put, I leave the one here, cause this is a bigger one. I just fold my sleeping bag up over it. And of course, Teddy's blanket. That's my cover that I use at night. I just fold them and I put them there and put the other two cushions over there. And then I have this platform from my bed, which is like a table. And I still have, you know, all my bins underneath there, which I have my kettles, which are easy to grab and pull out, you know, so it's pretty cool. And I just set it up like this. I have a 240 Jackery back here, which is my water pump for my water pump for my sink. You can see it's plugged in there. And there's my little library. I have my fire spray, my oil, um, my white vinegar and water. And then up there's my Ikea bins for my car keys and things that I don't want to lose. So yeah, there's my wireless speaker which is awesome. I can play my music while I'm cooking and stuff and it's just really relaxing. Um, normally I have this back hatch open so that Teddy can enjoy the outdoors, but today it's kind of windy so I have it shut so I can do this video. Okay, so here's the setup. I take my little butane stove, which is really usually stored behind these bins in a black, it has a little black case. And I set it up here and then I put my butane inside there. Normally I keep my butane in that pocket right there in the shoe storage pocket. I stick it in there. Then I take my tray, which I keep my tray underneath now um, of this bin right here. I keep it, I just keep it underneath of that. I slide it out, bring it up here. And now I have it for cutting, um, sitting stuff on, you know, like right now I have my coffee sitting here um, just to give you guys a little show you how I kind of do my coffee. I have, I usually use three tablespoons of coffee. So I just scoop, you know, three tablespoons of coffee into my coffee pot, which I don't know if I can do this with, with one hand. I'm going to try. I just kind of, I use two cups of coffee. Put them in there like that. See, it's like about that big. Throw it in there. Like so. I keep the coffee in these little mason jars. It just stores nicely and it won't spill. You shut your lid. I already have the, the water in the back of the pot. And then turn your jackery on. Your AC power. Turn your pot on. And you can hear the jackery is now running. Okay. So it's going to start brewing up that beautiful cup of coffee for me. And it's going to be tasty. 
That's what I do every morning. It's really easy. And what's cool about my water system, I use this Yeti um, thing. And I bought these Pure Pod little pods that you can drop in. I didn't get it yet. I bought it. I should have it Sunday. And then I'm going to show you guys a review on it once I get it. But it purifies your water. It'll purify up to 264 gallons of water. So if I do fill my water tanks, because I carry 13 and a half gallons of water, you can see my tanks now under there because with the bed cushions gone, you can see my two tanks. So basically those are filled right now. So I just take my little my little Yeti thing back here. Normally I can do this, you know, from the back of the van, which is much easier. And I have my little water pump plugged in here. I want to turn it on, of course. Turn my water pump on, which switches right there. And turn my water. Fill my Yeti. Turn my water pump off because I don't keep that on when I'm not using it. And now I have water and I put that little potable thing in there, that little pod. And that will be used for cooking. For cooking, you really don't need to purify your water because you're gonna be heating it with your butane. So it gets hot. But when you're making coffee or drinking water from your drinking water cup, you want purified water. So I just drop it into my Yeti and I'm going to have that so that I can have purified water. Now, when I want to take a shower, I can just use the water straight out of there. Or if I want to brush my teeth in the morning, I just brush my teeth back there easily. And, you know, no problem. Wash my face, brush my teeth. It's great. But if I want to drink the water, instead of buying those gallons of water now, those, you know, I used to carry um at least three to five gallons of water when i would take a trip usually i'd start out with five gallons of water and i would carry them up front with teddy on the floor of the passenger side i don't have to do that anymore because i have that little pod now i can just use the water that i already have on board which like i said down here i have 13 and a half gallons of water on board and i have drinking water i have water to wash my dishes with i have water to drink because I'm using that little pod and I no longer have to carry, by the way, there's my coffee brewing away. It smells wonderful. I wish these videos had smell options because you guys would be like dying right now. Okay, so let's just say, you know, I wanna make something. What I do is I just pull out my kettle. You know, if I wanna use, many of you and Lee turned me onto this little kettle. If I want to make hot water for my tea or something like that, I just put that on there. You know, you know, you know how these work, guys. You guys know how these work. Just light it up. Make your hot water. Um, it's fully ventilated, obviously, because I have this door open here. So, yeah, that looks pretty, pretty cool. And this will work great. For, and then when I have dirty dishes, you know, and I want to wash my dishes, I can just take them and throw them into my sink and wash them later. I can put a towel over it so I don't have to see it, <laughs> which is probably what I'll be doing most of the time until later in the evening when I need my dishes, because I'm only going to carry a couple of dishes. I'm usually only carrying um, bowls. Um, I don't carry plates. I only carry two bowls, two spoons, two forks, two knives. Um, just in case I have a visitor and I carry plastic spoons to use Teddy's um, dog food because he uses that Caesar food with dry kimble, kib kibble. And then I just take those and use the plastic spoons so I could throw them away every time I use them. But yeah, I love my 240 Jackery. Because like I said, I have my water pump plugged in back there. And then here I use this Jackery for all of my electronics because my electronics will ride in this bottom drawer. So when I want to plug my phone in, I just put it inside that drawer, let the cord slip out and plug in there and it's charging. Or if I don't want to, you know, charge it there, say I'm sitting here reading and I want to charge it, I can just stick my phone in here and charge it along the side because that's where I have my little portable uh, Mophie charger and it's charging my USB fairy lights right now. So yeah, guess what y'all, my coffee's done. So here's how I do my coffee. Now I have a Yeti cup 
and I don't have my little frother out here, which normally I have a frother. I use this stuff called Cacao Bliss. I put that in with my coffee, a scoop of that. I put a teaspoon of honey in my coffee. And then I have this little battery powered frother, which I don't have out here. Put my coffee into my Yeti cup from my coffee pot. Put a scoop of the Cacao Bliss, a teaspoon of honey, and then I take my little frother and I froth it up and I drink it in the morning. And this Cacao Bliss is by Danette May. And I don't know if you've ever heard of it or not, but it's a superfood elixir blend. The cacao is from a uh, ceremonial grade cacao. And it also has turmeric, lacuma, and four other superfoods into this blend. So it is wonderful for you. It is so good for your body. And I put that in my coffee every morning. Instead of using like cream or anything like that, that's what I use. So now I'm turning my Jackery off because my coffee's done. You know, just pour your coffee into your cup. Got a couple grounds in there, not sure why. I use new coffee filters this time. And then I just take my cacao bliss. Like I said, it's a, it's like a powder. I use, you know, about a scoop, maybe half a scoop of it. I put a little more in there. I like a little chocolatey in the morning. Oh gosh. I don't know why my finger's in my video. I, I am so bad at doing these videos. I guess eventually I'll get better at it. And then I need a teaspoon. Probably all in the bottom. Teaspoon of honey. So instead of using the teaspoon, I'm just going to drop it in there. Honey is super good for you. And just stir it around. And like I said, normally I would use my frother on the top of this little battery powered frother, but I don't have it out here. That's all I do. Cheers. Oh my God, that is so delicious. It's like the best thing ever. So that's how I make my coffee in the morning. Now, usually when I make my coffee, I don't do all this with my bed. Okay, I don't, I leave my bed the way it usually is in the morning. I just make my coffee, um, you know, without doing all this. I was showing you all this. So like if say I was gonna make a meal, it was evening, I was gonna have a cup of coffee and a meal. This is how I would do it inside the van. Then I have my fridge back here, which is also pretty cool because it opens from this side as well as from the other side. So if I want to get in here and get some veggies out for supper, cut up some celery, peppers, whatever, I just reach in there and get them. And the same is for the sink. I can just reach over and run my water, you know, so that's pretty darn cool. So yeah, this is my setup for cooking indoors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video if you like it. See ya. Have a blessed day.